What's up everyone, China Cycling here today. Uh, nothing crazy today, but I thought it'd still be interesting. It's the Nagin heart rate sensor. Uh, why is this one interesting? Because it does ANT and Bluetooth at the same time. Uh, I've got my old Garmin heart rate sensor, which, thanks for that truck. I've got this uh, Garmin heart rate sensor, which I've had for ages. Does the job fine, but it's only ANT plus. Uh, these days in China, quite popular uh, are lots of softwares like this, cycling softwares, uh, similar to Strava, but without segments and stuff. But anyway, inside they have kind of like achievements for doing uh, different, uh, different lengths and different amounts of climbing, for example. And, and this one's for doing 2000 meters of climbing and you get different stars based on levels. And uh, I did a climb, this, I did a ride the other day with more than 2,000 meters of climbing, and my VM was like 460. But I got this, and it said, hi, you've only got four, uh, four stars. And it says here, to get five stars, you need to have a heart rate monitor attached. So, uh, so my phone doesn't support ANT+, my phone only supports Bluetooth. So I want a heart rate monitor that can send heart rate to my Garmin and to my phone at the same time. So I bought this, the McGeen MHR10. Uh, it cost me 100 kwai, including shipping, uh, which is around 10 pounds or maybe around $16. So yeah, super cheap. Uh, and let's, let's see if it works. Let's see if we can get it hooked up. So what have we got in the box? We've got uh, the size of the thing. Oh, I should, I should use the English. There we go. So yeah, the physical dimensions, uh, the strap length, it'll go from 62 centimeters to 94 centimeters. Heart rate accuracy is plus or one minus one beat, blah, 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 blah. Bluetooth, four and ANT plus. Battery life, 18 months based on one hour per day. I guess you can have slightly less battery life than uh, the Garmin one, because the Garmin one's only doing ANT plus and this has to do both. But uh, we'll see, let's open it up and see. Let's have a look. Oh, I think it's still in there. All right. Packaging is a bit ghetto, but hey, if it, if it saves, if it saves 20, 30, 40 kwai, sure. Okay, so I like that. It has the twist top to change the battery. Anyone who's changed the battery in a Garmin knows how annoying it is with these four little screws. And so you don't, you don't have to change the batteries very often in these things, but still, those screws, ugh, I don't know why they do it. Maybe for waterproofing, but yeah, this seems like an easier solution. Okay, give me a sec while I get this, uh, this strap fitted right. Ah, wow, I love buying stuff in China. Uh, it was actually too tight for me. I had to adjust it bigger. Uh, being a skinny guy, 50, 51 kilos, uh, usually if I buy American or European stuff, it's always way too big and you have to adjust it down. But Chinese stuff made for skinny people, uh, it came out of the box being uh, too small. But there's a whole bunch of adjustability. Like it says, uh, what was it, 96 centimeters it goes up to? Uh, 94 centimeters. So uh, measure your chest, uh, less than 94 centimeters, you're good. Okay, let's, uh, let's get this bad boy to work. Do, 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 do. Whee. Let's try. Ooh, that's cold water. Okay, let's try finding out on the Garmin first. Go team, go. Okay, so let's have a look. Settings. Heart rate. Sensor details. Sensor ID. Uh, search. Searching, 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 searching. All right, so it's a found. It's my sense now. Oh, got a new one. Three five zero three one. Let's have a look. Am I dead? I'm quite sure I like to go. Oh yeah, heart rate seventy five. Okay, so we know he's working. Okay, now let's try find it on the phone. Uh, I've never done a Bluetooth device on my phone before. 
Uh, I've done a Bluetooth device. Never done a Bluetooth heart rate. MHR 10, that's fast. Pairing. Pairing rejected. Psh. Let's try again. Uh, try doing it inside of Strava. Settings in here. Screen display. Auto pause. Sensors. Non pair. Okay. There we go. Connect AT sensors. Running cadence. Searching for Bluetooth sensors. There we go. Searching for Bluetooth sensors. Don't see the sensors you're looking for, tap here. Uh, sure, I'll tap here. Ah, that's too much reading. Just find me my sensor. Where are you? Uh, let's try it. Let's try doing it inside the Chinese app. Bluetooth accessories, Bluetooth heart rate monitor. You see, this guy's found it. You see, how easy is that? Strava, you need to learn. Look how easy that was. And the Strava is still like, no, go away. No sensors. Okay, comment in the comments of what I'm doing wrong and stupid, but as you can see, Strava can't see my sensor. But this Chinese app, Hei Niao, can see my sensor. Which is all I care about, because I'm using Strava on this guy, so... Yeah, that, here we go. Uh, at the same time, we've got both heart rates. 77, 78. Cool, so that works. Uh, I'll go for a ride and test it out. Awesome. Cool. So yeah, that's that video. Uh, the Magin MHR10, Bluetooth and ANT both working at the same time. Uh, yeah, so if you want a, a sensor that can do both, go for this. Why is it not working in Strava? I'm not sure. I'll have a fiddle around. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's, that's too much reading in here. So, But yeah, there we have it. The Magin MHR10. Heart rate running on Bluetooth and ANT Plus at the same time. Uh, super cheap, seems to be reliable, doing the job, and I'll, I'll take it for a ride. As always, any questions, let me down in, know in the comments down below, and I'll try to answer them as quickly as I can. Uh, if you want to see more stuff like this, some Chinese bikes, Chinese equipment, subscribe to the channel. I'll bring you more videos. Thanks for watching, everyone. Cycle safe. Bye-bye.